Hello everyone, Pastor Randy here. Welcome to Making It Simple. Hope you're well today on this beautiful Tuesday. As you can see, the sun shining through the window here sitting at my breakfast table this morning. Just want to share a little time with you. I thought we had a great lesson yesterday. I just felt like the information was flowing because one of the things that's important to me is that obviously we never want to waste anyone's time. And I never would just want to be a broken record, uh, just saying the same thing over and over and over. I like to believe, and I do believe, in fact, that everything that we're doing here has substance, that it means something. Because as we, as we not only grow in our faith and in our pursuance of a relationship with Christ, it also produces something within us that we become, as Paul would write, a new creation that old things have passed away. In other words, I'm not who I used to be, and I'm not who I'm going to be. We're an ever-changing concept. Now, I don't speak that in the, in the idea of like an evolution, that we're changing into something else, because that's a whole different story. I'm not talking about that at all. What I'm talking about is our character, our personality, our attitude, our demeanor, all of these things are continually growing and they're improving if indeed what we're taking in is beneficial. It's like the the old uh, the old marketing campaign for some fruit juice. I can't remember the name of it, but but they said you put good in, you get good out. Well, that's a great concept because if we think about that from the natural, from the physical, if we eat junk and garbage all the time, it doesn't affect our body good at all. Uh, We can very well easily get overweight. We can develop diabetes and heart conditions and all the other stuff. However, we don't consume those things. And and I don't say they have to eat salad for every meal, but we take care of ourselves and we exercise and we do the things that, that, and, and take care of this body. It lasts for quite a while. Now, yes, other things happen, so please don't think that I'm I'm ignoring reality or diseases and whatever. Those things happen. But the bottom line is, is how are we growing, how are we developing in our faith, in our system of understanding what this is all about? And that is my sole intent here at Making It Simple, is to use the scriptures, to tell a story, to use this as our background, as our foundation, as we pursue and understand what a relationship with Christ is all about. So yesterday, the two that were following now Jesus, they said they want to spend the day with him. They wanted to learn more. They wanted to know more about what he was talking about, about who he was, about where he was from, where he lived, all those other things. They wanted to know all that. And now we move to the next part of that, which is equally as important because of their action. It tells us in verse 40, one of the two which heard John speak followed him and was Andrew, Simon's brother. We talked about that, that this was Andrew and John would be the two that were doing this. And then it said in verse 41, he, being Andrew, first found his own brother, And said unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is, being interpreted, the Christ. And then in verse 42, And he brought him to Jesus. Now that is a pivotal statement, okay, and I'll explain why. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. He knew who he was. The Bible tells us that Jesus knows our name. And he said, You shall be called Cephas. From this interpretation, which means a stone. Now, so we see a couple of different things here. We see the confirmation of who we're dealing with, at least one in particular, Andrew. But what we see is what he did. When he had an encounter with Christ, when he began to follow Christ, when he began to see the answers to his questions, what was the first thing that he did? He went and told someone else. You see, when something has an impact on us, we want to tell somebody. We want to share 
a story. We want to share a positive event. We want to show off the new car we just bought or the new hat. Or, you know, uh, you want to show pictures of your children or your grandchildren. Uh, all of those things. We, we have that inclination when something has affected us in a positive way. We want to tell everybody. Equally, sometimes others, when they have something go negative, they want to tell everybody too for various reasons. And But that's not the point of our conversation today. Our conversation is this. What we're seeing here is it says that this one, when he had his experience with Christ, he sought out someone else. In this particular case, it was his brother. And he went to him and he told him, I got the answer. I've got the answer. We have found the one. We have found the Messiah, which means Savior. And he said, I've got him. And then we're told he took him to him. He brought him to Jesus. That is a twofold meaning. Literally, he took him to where he was. And physically, or spiritually, I should say, he led him to Christ. He said, here he is. Here's the answer. And so Jesus looked at Peter and he said, I know who you are. I know your name. And then he gave him a new name, Cephas. Again, which means Peter, and it also means rock or stone. Later, the Lord would look at Peter, and he said, Upon this rock I will build my church. He was speaking of that rock, meaning faith, that solid faith in the person of Christ. So my question to you today, as we think about does this mean anything to us? And see, that is where we find the difference between religion and relationship. See, not everybody shares their religion. and Not everybody shares where they attend, if, if they attend, or what their belief system is. Some people you might know, and I've known this. I've seen this with my own eyes. People that I've known for years that maybe don't believe at all. Or they have a completely different belief system or they've come from a different mindset or whatever. But you never knew that because they never, ever talked about it. And, and, and maybe not even in a ashamed way, but it just wasn't important. It was just, yeah, that's who I am, what I do, whatever. But shouldn't it mean more than that? Shouldn't it have more value than that? If one has come in your place. Let me give you this example. Maybe an extreme example, but, but, but bear with me. You've committed a horrible crime, whatever it may be, murder, something awful, okay? And the court has found you guilty, and you've been sentenced to death. You're strapped on that table. They get the needle ready. Are you strapped in old Sparky? And they got the components plugged in. And it's ready to go. You're going to send 40,000 volts through your body. Whatever the case. And I know these are horrible examples. But just bear with me. You're 10 seconds away. 20 seconds away from them committing this. And you're going to be gone. All of a sudden. The door opens. And in walks in someone else. And they say listen. I know they're guilty. I know they did what they did. But they belong to me. They've asked me to save them. They've asked me to forgive them. They've asked me to make them whole. So you can turn them loose and I'll sit down. I'll lay down and take their place. Now that's hard to fathom. But that's exactly what Jesus did for each and every one of us. And I want you to grab that. Because no one, I don't care where they come, and what angle they come at from faith. Everyone could never deny that every single one of us have done something that is unpleasing to someone. Everybody's guilty of that. So if we, if we believe in the concept of right and wrong, which I know that's a skewed place in the world today, but trust me, it's still there. 
if we believe in a higher being or God or whatever you, so many different people want to call it, we have to understand that at some point in time, there has to be some accountability. If there's accountability now for doing something wrong, there has to be more as time goes by. However, if we understand the concept of faith and we understand the concept of love and grace and mercy as it comes from the Father, and he loved us so much that he said, wait a minute, I know they're guilty. I know they did what they did. They can't hide that. However, that admission, that repentance, that asking of forgiveness has opened the door that God provided a way through the person of Jesus Christ who came, was born and gave his life in our place to pay for what we've done. We can't hardly wrap our mind around that. I've had the experience, maybe you've had the experience, sitting in a drive through You know, ordered a cup of coffee, ordered a sandwich, whatever the case. And you pull up to the window, and the attendant there says, no charge, the person in front of you paid for yours. Man, what a feeling. And equally, it's a great feeling to do the same thing for the person behind you. Pay it forward, if you will. Jesus did that for you. Jesus did that for me. He said, listen, I know what they've done, but I want to I wanna make them better than that. I want to create a new person in that. And we have the opportunity, just like these two here. They followed, they learned, and now they're telling someone else. This is why I spend this time with you every day. It is not, again, to show you uh, some in, in great talent of Bible teaching or great theology. It's not that at all. It is to introduce you to this one, just as these two were introduced, or, or this one introduced his brother to someone. He came to me and says, we found the answer. We've got him. He's right here. I found the answer. I got him. And he's right here in my heart. And I want to share him with you each and every day. I want to share the love and the mercy and the grace of Christ. Because no matter where you are in this life right now, where you're listening from right now, whatever's going on in your life, right, there is nothing that God can't bring you through. And there's nothing he can't bring you out of. And there's no guilt that he can't remove and forgive you of. I, I And I will never tell you he's going to take away the consequence. If you rob a bank today, that 20 years or whatever in jail, I'm not, God's not going to take that away. You did that. However, in the process of that coming to know him, he can throw that as far as the east is from the west when it comes to eternity. We don't have to carry the burden of guilt forever. Because in the eyes of God, we can be made whole. We can be made clean. And these, these ones who found him, these ones who saw him, they felt it so impressed upon their heart. They wanted others to know. And as we'll see, this chain, one told this one, this one told that one, that one told. And then before long, people were hearing about the gospel. People were hearing about Jesus. People were getting the opportunity to say, I want to know more. That is what this is all about. That is what our time together is all about, is for someone somewhere to say, I want to know more. I want to understand what having a relationship with God through Christ and empowered by the Holy Spirit, I want to know what that's about. I don't want religion. I don't want a church service. I don't want just someone preaching at me and telling me how bad I am. I want to know the one who can save me. And that is exactly why me, Pastor Andy, is going to share this message with you as long as I've got breath, as long as I have the ability, because I care. Because someone took time 23 years ago to share this message with me. And I've been blessed to continue to share that with others as the years have gone by. But I have become passionate about it now to a level to where it is it is my heart. I want you to know this same Jesus that I know. Because I can tell you right now without a doubt, he will change your life. He will change your perspective. He will change your heart. He will change your mindset. We see the world kind of falling apart. We see a lot of things going on that are very discouraging, that are very hurtful, and are harmful and dangerous. Friends, this comes as a result of a heart that does not know Jesus. And I don't say that to be judgmental. That's just fact. 
when Jesus lives within us, our views and our abilities and our thoughts, everything, it changes. Now, it is a timely thing. It doesn't happen overnight. But we begin to have a different mindset. We begin to have a different thought process about what it all means. So we're going to leave it with that today. These two, they were following. And one broke off and said, I got to go tell somebody. And, uh, you know, back, back in the day, uh, there were several different different ones but there was a there was a, a wrestler back in the day and that was part of his character was to look in that camera he's going to do this he's going to do that he said and go tell somebody go tell somebody so they'll be down at the matches on friday night go tell your mama go do whoever friends i want to tell you about jesus he'll change your life I look forward to being with you tomorrow. I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. Go enjoy the sunshine. Take in some fresh air and just give God thanks for another day on this earth, in this life, that we could hear more about him and that we too could go tell somebody. God bless you. Have a great day.